my name is Mr. Joseph Lee and today I'm here to pitch to you my new media product which I hope to make with the support of you and our productions. Now before I begin I would like to reference that I have given you an infographic with some data on that I would like you to take a look at throughout the pitch. So first of all, the question is what is the aim of creating a magazine? Well, our aim is to provide the public with accurate and reliable tech news that they couldn't get anywhere else. Um, now, our product we want, that we want to make with help of you will be called Techno. It will be in the technology sector and it will provide tech news to the UK. It will also feature tech reviews from gurus and experts to boost readership. Now, every magazine or any product needs a USP and our product, and my whole magazine, has a USP and it is that it is entirely digital. This is unique. This is the only benefits of this include uh, the fact that we can run the types of competitions that we want to run within our magazine and make it fair for every person who is using and reading our magazine. Now this is our ideal reader, he is called Ben, he lives in London and Ben is undecisive, he wants a second opinion, he wants to know what experts think. So Techno is the perfect magazine for him. He also he also likes exclusives, so reading techno can help them to find those exclusives that other people might not find. Now, our target audience for techno is we want to be 20 to 40 years old, that are male, that are in the A, B, and C demographics, and someone who is interested in tech, gadgets, opinions, collecting, gaming, reading, and photography. We also want them to have the spending power of 5 to 10 pounds and more than us, meaning that they can buy something out of their disposable income as well as our product. Now there are a lot of rival magazines in the tech industry, the main one being Stuff Magazine. Now Stuff advertises and gets views in different ways and the main way they do that is by using women on the front cover because they have to appeal to a male audience. We however will try our best to attract viewers in our own way, which I'll talk about more later. Now, um, now, as I say, our product is called Techno. It will be mainly formal, yet slightly informal. The key colours will be red, yellow, and green. It will be released once a month on the first Monday of the month. And it is aimed at people that have a higher level of income than the, lower le the lowest level of disposable income. Now, earlier on, I mentioned the competitions we want to run. Now, the kind of types of competitions we want to run are where you can use a code which will hide within our magazine, but only so many people can use the code before it runs out. This, will make, this is why it works, to make it digital, which makes it fairer, so you don't get anybody sneaking looks at codes before they're released. These are my draft articles. The one on the right is the final one, the one on the left is the draft one. Uh, and they talk about the iPhone X and how it's been replaced by the iPhone XR and the iPhone XS. If this was to be released, it would be released in the October 2018 edition. And this is my draft layout, and it is a bit small, so I'll make it a little bit bigger for you. Um, um, it's got the colours are green, yellow, and red, as I mentioned before. The reason why we chose that is because we want like the idea of it being a traffic light, and the idea being that with other tech magazines you might get stuck at some sort of junction, but with our magazine you will not get stuck, and you'll find out everything you need to know on the headline, and the key information will always be in the green part because you can go with our magazine and you can, yeah, that's okay. Um, and the boost colour is black because it was the, the standout and we chose the negative version white to be in our text part. We have a short list of four different fonts that we would like to use for our magazine. We are, but if we get the opportunity to make it, we will decide specifically which font we would like to use. Also, we have a colour palette, as previously mentioned, of those five colours and some, basically what I just said there. This is my test photography. It was taken on my mobile phone, so the quality is a bit bad, but it kind of represents the idea of the sort of thing we want to go for. This was a very niche sort of story because we were looking for something that we could do with no budget. So we found this to be the best one. Now, to look at the costs. Now, to start up our magazine, it will cost £58,115. Uh, staff wages will cost £32,000 per calendar month. 
and we'll have to set, that means we'll have to set around 10,700 copies of the magazine every month in order to make a profit. But of course, we will lose, we'll make a loss in year one as every product and every thing will. Um, now, I'm preempting something here. Because a lot of people will say that a magazine will struggle, and a lot of magazines do, they tend to struggle within the first couple of months. But why is Techno different? Why should you put your back in behind Techno? Well, for us, Techno, we have a lot of passion behind it. It's got a very unique USP of we've got competitions that only certain amount of people can get, so it's going to get people wanting to read it. And while they're looking through that magazine, trying to find those codes, they're going to be finding looking at these articles and they don't, might spot one that they might want to read. So they'll stop and read it once they've found the code, which is a, which for us is what we want. We want people to read our magazine, obviously. Um, now, what, um, what obviously you could do, should you decide to help us out, is to, there is, obviously as you know, there's a thing called Synergy, which is where company, companies can Put things. Um, sorry, it's okay. You were talking about synergy, so using the other platforms that we have. Companies can use. Well, you can use the different platforms that you have. So, say for example, you had a TV show or a TV channel, sorry, in tech, or you had a radio station in tech. You could use that to advertise techno and vice versa, which would of course be free marketing for you. So you wouldn't have to spend any of that cash. Now. Um, finally, I'd like to say in conclusion that my magazine, I want my magazine to be the next best thing, something that could compete with Wired and stuff, and I am prepared to put in the effort if you would like, want to invest in me and put in the effort that is required from you as well. Thank you very much. Do you have any questions? Excellent pitch. Thank you, Joe. Um, so just a couple of bits just to clarify. First of all, um, the codes. What kind of codes would they be for? Obviously, I understand the purpose of them is to read it first and then to increase your subscription. What would the what would the actual codes be? Discount codes for? Um, we could we were looking into getting codes for stuff like maybe phone companies or something to do with text, so like maybe computer company or something that the client, or the client sorry, I'm just the reader could use to their advantage in their lives. Okay, excellent. And lastly, you mentioned it's going to be a digital-only copy. So what, what platforms online do you think you'd use to advertise your product? Where, what places online? Uh, we'd like, obviously we use social media a lot, so we'd like to set up a Twitter account, to run our scene, as well as a Facebook account and an Instagram account to post behind-the-scenes pictures of our making our magazine. Excellent. Thank you very much.